Hi guys, I'm here today with the Ion Cornerstone. The Cornerstone is a outdoor waterproof Bluetooth speaker with a 50 hour built in battery. You get up to 100 foot range between the Cornerstone and your Bluetooth audio device and you get about a 30 foot range between two paired Cornerstone speakers. You can pair two speakers to play in stereo. The Cornerstone uses a 12 volt 2.3 amp hours sealed lead acid battery. The dimensions are 2.75 inches long 1.89 inches wide and 3.86 inches high. These are not proprietary batteries. You can get them at any number of battery suppliers. You can also get them at ionaudio.com. I'll include a link in the description of this video below. So we're going to go ahead and replace the battery. If properly cared for, the batteries can last for years. You might only need to replace a battery if you've left the unit in your basement over the winter and forgot to give it a charge once in a while. ION includes some care instructions with the battery that include the following tips. Fully charge the battery before using it. For maximum life, drain the battery 80% once a month. Charge the battery completely after each use and avoid completely draining the battery. These are common tips that you would apply for anything that uses a lead acid battery for charging. These tips can help you maximize the battery life and again, these can last for years if properly cared for. We're going to go ahead and open the access panel on the bottom of the unit and show you how to replace the battery if you ever need to. There's eight screws to remove and you just need a Phillips head screwdriver to do so. Now that we have the eight screws removed, we're going to set those aside to remove the access panel on the bottom. The access panel is right over a small rubber gasket and just with a little bit of gravity, you'll probably get that to fall out. Now the battery fits pretty snugly inside the unit. There's not a lot of extra room for you to reach in and grab it out. So what I'd recommend is just give the unit a couple of taps on your surface and you'll see that it starts to come out and gives you room enough to grab it. When you pull it out, make sure not to completely remove this casket because it might just be a little hard for you to get back in there. But we'll, we'll set that back in place before we put the new battery in. So you'll see that the, the battery is connected with two wires, red and black. So we're going to grasp these connectors firmly and just give it a little pressure. They could be hard to pull off, but as long as you're grasping here and not out here, you don't have to worry about being too gentle. These will come right off. So we've got our new battery here and we're going to connect it exactly like the original battery was. Now when we took the original battery out, we displaced this gasket and we're just going to replace that there before we put the new battery in. Make sure that the wires don't fall underneath the battery because there's not a lot of room in here and the back of that of the battery compartment is going to sit pretty flush up against the back of the battery. If the wires are there, you won't be able to put the battery in all the way and it will stick up past the edge of the gasket, meaning you won't have your waterproof seal. So there's a little lip right here and we're going to make sure that the wires go above that lip and this lets us get the battery in nice and flush. Okay, so now when we put this gasket back on and we replace the access panel, the battery won't be pushing up past the edge of the gasket, which it would affect our waterproof seal. So the wires are going to push back in no matter what. Don't really have to worry about those as long as they're not stuck behind the battery. So now that we've got the gasket, in place and the battery replaced. We're going to reassemble the access panel and put these eight screws back in. That's our overview of replacing the battery in the Ion Audio Cornerstone. Thanks for watching.